where your greatest fears become reality. Oh, God. Oh, God. Welcome to Fear Factor. Each show, six contestants from around the country battle each other in three extreme stunts. Oh, God. I don't think I can do this. These stunts are designed to challenge the contestants both physically and mentally. If a contestant is too afraid to complete a stunt, they're eliminated. Can't do it, dude. If they fail a stunt, they're eliminated. But if they succeed, they move one step closer to the grand prize. $50,000. Six contestants, three stunts, one winner. Fear Factor. I'm Joe Rogan. This is Fear Factor. The stunts you're about to see were all designed and supervised by trained professionals. They are extremely dangerous and should not be attempted by anyone, anywhere, anytime. I'm playing this game basically to, to challenge myself, and this is gonna be one of the biggest challenges in my life, to go against five other people and to come out successful. I can't be intimidated, and people definitely don't get in my head. I'm doing Fear Factor purely as a dare, and now I'm gonna be on TV. I'm not the kind of person that would do like whacked out crazy things on my own, but uh, I can be talked into almost anything. As a pro BMX bicycle racer, I feel that I've got just enough talent and focus to get me through all the tasks. I'm doing this show because it's a great opportunity for me to test my limits and pay for my wedding. I am very competitive, but I guess if it weren't for the money, you could just call me crazy. Being a tomboy is definitely going to help me out because everyone looks at me and they're going to think, oh, she's the cute little blonde one that can't do much. But that's when they're going to be surprised. Winning is everything. I don't do anything unless I'm going to win. I don't think about losing. I just don't take defeat very well, and that's why it's always been hard for me to be a team player. On a team, you can make too many excuses for everybody else. I'm a former Miss Rhode Island, USA 2001, and I actually went on to compete at the Miss USA pageant and placed top 10. I want to prove to people that I can do this, because I know there's a lot of people out there that are going to say, no way, and I want to show them that I can. You six people have been brought here from all over the country for one reason, to stare fear in the eye as you compete for $50,000. And to win the money, you're gonna have to complete three extreme stunts. Stunts that'll not only test you physically, but mentally as well. If you are too afraid to attempt a stunt, you will be eliminated. If you try a stunt but fail to complete it, you are gone. However, if you do succeed, you will move on to the next round and be that much closer to the cash. Remember, this is a game, so strategy comes into play. Feel free to mess with each other's minds and play off each other's fears. Gamesmanship is always welcome here. Ready to see your first stunt? Yeah. All yeah. right, yeah. here it is. All right, well, you're not going to ride some dopey mechanical bull. You can do that drunk any Saturday night at a honky-tonk bar. This is Fear Factor. Come with me. You guys are each going to have to ride one of these 2,000 pound bulls. The two men and the two women that can stay on these bulls the longest will advance to the next round. The rest of you will be eliminated. If you were too afraid to attempt this stunt, you will be eliminated. We've already randomly selected who's going to go first, and Laura, you're the lucky number one. Bring Ready it do this? Let's go. All right, come on, tough guys. All 
All right, Laura, how are you feeling? I'm feeling great. You ready to do, do this? Let's go. Are you nervous at all? Not at all. I don't know why. I keep thinking of my head crushing. I'm a lightweight. I can keep my own. Yeah? Boxing. I'm going to hold on to that. No, really, you ever see one of these things when they, people get stepped on? Never seen highlights of, like, rodeos? Yes. And guys get caught underneath and stuff like that? Clown. He's running and gets his ass lifted about 13 feet in the air into the freaking wall. It was funny when I was watching it on TV, but... It's not funny now, huh? Uh, it's pure luck. It's pure luck. luck? I'm What's you. the luck? For it's luck. luck. What's lucky? It's skill. That's what if you have some maniac bull? What if the bull's having a bad day? That's it's what I'm like saying. It just doesn't like you. Yeah, exactly. She's from Chicago, spent some time in Wisconsin on the farm. Yeah, she's a farm chick. I didn't spend no time on the farm. No time in Wisconsin. I have no contact with animals ever. Like, yeah, the closest I get to cows and bulls are drinking milk and eating steak. <laughs> See, I'm a vegetarian. Bulls aren't going to bother me. They yeah. know that I don't eat them. So, but do you think like cows know? Like cows are they can dumb, sense right? it? No, no, they can sense it. No, they can't. They can. Get out of here! I don't eat shark either for the same reason. Just like like kind of karma, bro, like oh, that. Exactly. That helmet ain't gonna do jack. Mm -mm. All right, Laura, how you feeling? You all right? Feel good. You ready to do this? Let's go. I'm wondering if the rope will come loose when I fall because it's really tight. Wondering if it'll break loose so I can get off. Okay, they're still Go! Good job! Four seconds, Laura. Seems like a lifetime. But look at you, you're walking and everything. I remember all of a sudden bouncing really fast, and then it just threw me to the right, and I'm thinking, not yet. So, Unizi, you're next. You nervous about this? Yes. Yeah? I'm not going to lie. Really? Yes, I am. Four seconds. You can beat it. Don't four think seconds. you beat it. Say you can beat two, it. One, two, three, four. I you can, can beat it. it, right? I can beat that's, it. Wait a minute. That's not four seconds. One. It's one, one thousand, two, one thousand, three, one thousand, four. I can do that. I'll tell you what, though. If I survive this, I'm going to eat the hell out of a steak when I get home. <laughs> now, I know you used to be a beauty queen. I was the reigning Miss Rhode Island. You got bulls in Rhode Island? Um, I, if I do, I haven't seen them. And you're a substitute teacher? Yes. What you do? Yeah. Really? Yes. What, what do you teach? Like high I school? I do K through 12. Watch, I'm going to try to snack the ass. Bam. You snack that bull's ass. You ready to do this? Like, yeah. Excited? All right. Good I luck do. to you. Dude, I could go my whole life without riding a bull. I could totally go my whole life without riding a bull. OK, nice bully. Nice bull. Next time I want to see a cow, it's going to be on my plate with some A1 steak sauce. Dig it. <laughs> Dig it. How do you think she's going to do? She's very pretty. I don't know uh, think this gonna how help? athletic she is. She was Miss Rhode Island. This is not a glamour show. <laughs> they are talking so much smack over there. It's not even funny. How do you feel? I think I'm crazy. All right, your nice is getting set up here. She's looking very nervous. You got to be 4.6 seconds. You be 4.6 seconds, you will advance, OK? And you got to remember that Kristen's nipping at your heels. So do your best. Ready to do this? Get him looking. This bull is going crazy already, and it's not even out of the cage yet. Go! That's what I didn't want to see. You didn't want to see that? <laughs> Why? Because she made that look hard. You got 3.4 seconds. Did you think you're going to do better than that? Yeah. Now, what was it like being thrown off? Were you nervous? I, I mean, I was trying to hang on, but he just, he whipped me right off. You got 4.6 seconds. She got 3.4 seconds, which means you did better than her. Psyched. You're definitely Thank in tomorrow. You, Congratulations. Are you nervous right now? I would be. A little, yeah. I think I'm more nervous, like, to win or not to win versus falling and getting killed. So they're gonna give us like a fresh bull. They're huh? gonna give us a fresh, big I ass, heavy ass, damn. pissed off, Damn-y angry ass. Ass. Ready to do this? I am. All right, all good right. luck to you. Bye. All right, we're gonna get you all strapped in now. I'm like praying to God that she falls. You think you're going home? No. Mmm. No. Yeah, she's got a game face on for sure. Mm. Yeah, it's that like... doesn't help. I had my game face on too. 
Yeah, but that's a game face you use to win a beauty pageant. No. You have to get a different game face to ride a bull. She knows she's gonna fall anyway. Right, Kristen? Oh. Right? Oh, I can't believe you said that to her, man. What? That's so mean. <laughs> I want to do well, but I don't want anyone to get hurt. All right, Kristen, you got to beat 3.4 seconds. If you do, Yaniza here goes home, and you go on to the next round. I'm giving her the voodoo ice. Don't let me die. Hold on for dear life, and don't let go. Go! <laughs> Her. She didn't fall right. Just lay there. Just lay there. You, you just breathe. Just breathe. It's like someone just dropped Kristen down the air. Bam. Yeah, that was, that was a good five foot drop. Yeah, just yeah. straight down. Kristen? Uh -huh. How old are you? Do you have any pain when I do that? Kristen, you gotta beat 3.4 seconds. If you do, Yaniza here goes home. Okay, here we go. Oh, 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 oh. oh my god. Oh my god. I'm so happy I went first. And if I had to see that and go on, I'd be a little nervous right now. They just got the knocked out of me. I don't know. All right, All right Kristen. Oh, she's up. Yeah! Kristen, you made it through. Congratulations. Did it knock the wind out of you? I, I think that's what happened, yeah. What was going through your mind when you were flying through the air? It was so fast. I don't know. Am I going to die? Am I going to be paralyzed? I panicked. I thought, I've got to be dead. The only thing I wanted to know was, like, did I win? Congratulations. Thanks. You are officially into tomorrow. Thank you. Yaniza, that's it. You go home. Well, today was not a very good day. The bull is not my friend. He didn't like me. He didn't like me to begin with. Well, Ben, you're on deck. Did I just, like, fly? Yes, you flew. After watching Kristen, you know, yeah. take a take a big uh, jump take a like header. that. Yeah. But look uh, at her, she's fine. Yeah, that's a bull. This isn't like, you know, the mechanical bull you see uh, right. in a bar somewhere. Yeah, this is the real deal. <laughs> you are the first guy, so you are setting the bar. So set it high. My heart is definitely racing, but mainly I'm just worried about getting trampled. You ready, Ben? In go. three, two, one, go! Weight, a good at least 1,300, 1,400 pounds. I think I got the wind knocked out of me as soon as I fell. It's kind of like a, like a jolt, you know? 5.7 seconds, Ben! I think that's a pretty pretty solid time. Do you think you can beat it? I think I have to beat it. You ready to do this? Yeah. You're next? Yeah. Come on, let's do it. Let's go. <laughs> when this event is done, I will never ride a bull again, and I feel confident saying that. You confident about this or what? Yeah. Do you think you beat the 5.7 seconds that Ben just laid out? Um, I think I can go to eight seconds. Really? Yeah. All right, my man. Well, that's strong that's words. Really you can do I'm it. For. Good luck to you. All right. Yeah, it's a lot harder it looks. All right, Al. Right now, you have to be 5.7 to be in. Good luck to you. Chest out. Focus forward. Okay, ready. Okay, ready. All right, in three, two, one, go! That was a good ride. Damn. Yeah. 
Congratulations, Al. That was hey, a awesome, kick, man. man. Seven seconds. Was it wild? Dude, it was a trip. <laughs> I was holding on with everything I had. Don't look around. Don't look at anything. Concentrate just on one dot in front of you, and that was it. Jason, how you feeling, man? Typically, I'm not known for my flow in BMX racing, but uh, there's no pedals on a bull, my that's man. That's right. So I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to find the flow somehow. I'm gonna have to get find the flow. I'm gonna have to get Jedi or something. Let's go Jedi All right. right now. Let's do it. Come okay. on. I got a wedding to pay for, so I'm yeah. gonna do my best. All right. Well, so. you only have to beat 5.7 seconds. You move that much closer to your wedding money. I think. Jason's gonna do well because Jason's a BMX rider. You think? BMX rider. It's all on your wrist. Yeah, that's and true. it's his whole forearm. Yeah. If he can hold on with his forearm like that. It's yeah, also about balance. So you beat 5.7 seconds, Ben walks, and you move on. The main thing is focus, focus, focus. In three, two, one, go! All right, there we go. Woo! What happened, my man? I had the big bull and just kicked my ass. That's all there is to it. <laughs> what was it like? It just sucked. I knew it would be hard. I knew it would be difficult. I, I was crazy nervous. Sorry it didn't work out for right, you. No worries. Thanks for playing. OK. Take it easy. I'm not pissed. I'm just disappointed. You know, not many people are presented with an opportunity to make 50 grand in a matter of three days, but that's how life goes. All right, well, congratulations. Before you move on to tomorrow, Kristen, congratulations. Thank you. You had the, the best female ride, Thanks. and you also took the best fall. Yeah. That was quite a header. Are you feeling all right now? I'm feeling good now. <laughs> Laura, congratulations on being the first. You set the table. Thank it wasn't you. for you. They wouldn't even know what to do. Going first has its advantages, definitely. All right, Al, congratulations to you. You did a kick ass ride with seven seconds. Thank you. Way to go. And bang, congratulations to you. You didn't think it was enough, your 5.7 seconds, but it did hold up. Now we all move on to tomorrow. Let's see what tomorrow has in store for you. Come with me, you guys. I have no clue what to expect today, but I know for sure it's going to be crazy. I'm just feeling real confident. A few people are down, so, so my odds are a lot better at getting the money and, and winning. There's nothing I won't try once. Whatever they introduce in this next stunt, I know that I can handle it. I'm not saying I'm not going to be afraid. I think if one person's eliminated today, it's probably going to be Kristen. Her confidence is low. I don't know what to expect. I don't know about the confidence thing. I didn't know it was going to be this dangerous. So now I'm really weary about the next two stunts. Now I realize how gnarly this is. There's nothing today that I won't do. I did not come this far to lose, and I'm not planning on losing. Not to badmouth him or anything like that, but I don't really feel that anybody has any competition. Hello. Hello. How's everybody doing? Good. Come on. Thanks. Everybody all right? All right. Yeah. All right. Well, for your second stunt, we're going to play cards. And the name of the game is Fear Factor Poker. There is no minimum bet, but the stakes are high. And here is what's in the pot. <laughs> what is that? Cow brains. You'll each be dealt four cards. They're marked from zero to three quarters. You'll be given one opportunity to throw away as many cards as you want. After that, you'll add the cards up, and that will be the amount of cow brains you'll have to eat. You'll have one minute time to eat each quarter cow brain. If you eat the amount of cow brains you're supposed to eat within the allotted time, you will move on to the next round, and you'll be that much closer to the cash. However, if you do not, you will be eliminated. All right, we have randomly selected who's going to go first, and Ben, you are lucky number one. Ready to do this? Let's do it. Woo! All right, here we go. Keep good. going. Half a brain. <laughs> Ooh, Ooh, three quarters. We got one and a quarter. It's a lot of brain already. It's a lot of brain. 
Ooh, oh. another three quarters. Hope Ooh. you're hungry. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. Going. Yeah. One more. Three. Oh. Two oh. and three quarter brains. Oh. Two and three. All right, now you know you can throw back as many as you like. You can throw back right, all right, four right. if you like. Mm -hmm. Well, I can't really envision a situation getting worse than this. I mean, I've got three cards that are three quarter and one that are wow. half. You know. So you can toss them all back if you like. Okay. Let's, let's do that. Would you like to do that? All right. Here we go. Last chance. Mm -hmm. One more truth. Last chance. Three quarters. Oh, oh my God. Three quarters. One and a half. That is bad. I know there's some good cards down there. Where's all the other cards? Yeah, they're all Give them all to Ben. <laughs> oh. oh, my God. All right, Ben. You have to eat two and one half brains. You will have 10 minutes to do so. You ready to do this? Bring it out. Oh, daddy. You'll each be dealt four cards. Each card will represent the amount of cow brains you have to eat. They're marked from zero to three quarters. You'll have one minute time to eat each quarter cow brain. All right, Ben. You have to eat two and one half brains. You'll have 10 minutes to do so. Can I do this? Bring it out. Oh, daddy. Woo! Hope you're hungry. When's my time start? As soon as you start eating. OK, ready? Mm -hmm. Set, go. Mm -hmm. Oh, oh I can't do it, dude. That's so. Wow. Oh, oh, dude, I can't do it. You quit? Yeah. You sure? You got yeah. ten minutes. Yeah, I can't do it, man. That's so. <laughs> that is, oh, dude. God. It tastes so much worse than it looks. You oh. don't even understand Shit. how is that how sick how is that, that is. Dude, oh. I can't do it. Well, it was nice meeting you, Ben. You take care. Take it easy. See you later. All right, Ben. Bye. Oh, my God. It doesn't help. What'd you guys think about Ben just bailing out like that? Must be pretty bad. It looked kind of tofu -y, if you ask me. Yeah. You're a badass bull rider. You can eat his brain. <laughs> you rode him, now you can eat his brain. Oh, my God. That's the same bull. Oh, yeah, I'm a real cowboy now. All right, you ready to yeah. do this? Rode him, eat him. <laughs> Here we go, Al. Turn them over, baby. One half. That's not good. One half. One brain. So four. One quarter. Not bad. Three quarters. OK, you have two brains right here, so. I think I'm going to get rid of these two. Good man. That's exactly what I would have done. Got to stick on 16. Hit me. Here we go. OK. <clears throat> One half. So you didn't go wrong there. Yeah. Yes, it worked out for you. OK, so we have one and a half brains. So you have six minutes. In six minutes' time, you must eat one and a half brains. You're the last guy here. You got to represent. Ben went out like a bitch. Don't let that happen to you. <laughs> Ready? Go. Do I have to eat all this jello stuff? Gotta eat everything, baby. Shout out. You know why I'm gonna finish this? Why? Because there's no way you two are gonna finish this. Whoa. That's what you Whoa. think. Wow. We'll see about that. That's a strong statement. Keep chewing. There's no way. Oh, oh, man. Come on, Al. You're good. Uh, Three and a half minutes. Come smells on, Al. good. Al's an animal. Al's putting this down. No problem. Al's a badass zen bull riding mother. Come on, baby. Smell that? Yeah, I smell it. What does that look like? It looks like a bunch of leeches bleeding to death. Got a shell or something. You know, you have to finish this after what you said. There's no way these girls are going to. I think Laura's going to eat it. Nope. I've been saving my oh, appetite. Oh, Al's a monster. Look at him. He's digging now. All fingers and everything. Look at him. Mm. 
minute and a half. Checking is watching. You should be. Oh. Come on out, put it away. You gotta put it away. You run out of time. Last chunk. Yeah, you gotta, you gotta eat all that jazz too, dude. Yeah. Oh come on, man. We wanna lick the plate. You gotta eat the crumbs. That's that's that stuff. All right, good enough. You sure? Yeah, yeah. Get rid of that. Come on, you got one minute. Get rid of the hunk in your hand. Just put it down. Yeah. <laughs> Uh. <laughs> Don't laugh, man. You gotta launch. Come on. Ta da. Show me the mouth. Open. That's it. His mouth's empty. Good job. You will not do that. I don't care if I have to vomit it back on the plate. You're gonna see something. If you vomit it back on the plate, will you lick it right back up? Oh, of course. You better. As long as I have enough time. Al, yeah, what was that like? Ugh. That first bite gets really nasty, and you think it's gonna get better after that, but it doesn't. It doesn't get better? No. It was exactly the same? Forcing it down, yeah. Look at his hands. I see them. Wow. So is that, that was much more difficult than the bowl? Yeah, because every time I opened my eyes and looked up at the plate, they would seem there was more there. So is that the advice you'd like to give the girls? Don't look, don't look at the plate, just kind of grab and... <laughs> the advice, leave now. Bring it on, I don't care if I have to throw it up back in your face. Oh, you will throw it up. Yeah, have some napkins. Mm. Thank you. Mm, what makes you so special? Because I finished it and you didn't yet. Well, then. Well, her time's still coming. Give me trash Whoa. talk after Lord I do last. it. Let's see what you can do. All right, Kristen. Here we go. Oh, look at that. Okay. Ooh, you're looking good. That ain't One nothing. quarter. Look at you, you're looking good, just a half a brain. A full brain, that's it? One full brain. Now, wow. here's the gamble. You toss in that half and hope to get another quarter. <sighs> it's time for you to use your brain. Okay, let's... let's... Take it in, what? and we give her one. That comes up zero. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Oh, right. no, bad call. Bad call. Yikes. Yes. But still, you did get a zero, so you're doing okay. You have one and a quarter brains to eat. Ready? Go. It's a hamburger. Look at it. Oh, she's fine. What are you talking oh, about? Man. Kristen's tough. Look at that. The brains were so gross. I just was hoping that it would stay down because it kept coming up and I had to re swallow it. There was like strings and grit in it, little bones, and like it just tasted so disgusting. Ouch. Looks like you got some competition. That. that girl's tough. See, don't underestimate girls just because they're all pretty and stuff. Come on, man. We're going out for brain tonight. <laughs> yeah, wait till you eat a vein or something in there. Oh, the best so part. Dirty. Best part. Four and a half minutes left. You could floss with it. There you go, Kristen. Come on. Gotta pick up that pace. Gotta have a little urgency in that chewing. Minute and a half left. Oh, One minute left. Even. Come on, Kristen. Can't even. There you go. <sighs> Come on, Kristen. 45 seconds. Thirty seconds left, Kristen. Oh man. Fifteen seconds left. Ugh. She's in. She's in. She's in. Three, two, one. Open your mouth. She's good. She's good. Woo! Woo! Look at Way that. Way to go. Okay. Now I can get. I'm impressed. Look at you. Did you think you were gonna get through that? Uh, um, I, like, halfway through, I thought, first I don't know. First bite. Yeah, he's right. The end is, like, the worst part. What was the first bite like, though? Absolutely disgusting, but <laughs> it was, like, okay, uh, like, I would just sort of slide it down my throat. Right. But then, like, as you're starting to, like, Pat yeah, the gag yeah, reflex yeah, comes, it's like, it's like mm, some of it's coming back up, some of it's going uh. back down, and then you just, you look, and, like, there's so much more. What does it taste like? It tastes... Describe it to me. Mushy tofu. Yeah. It's like fishy, meaty, 
Oh, I don't want to talk about it anymore. All right, congratulations, Kristen. You are officially in the finals. Way to go. You ready, Laura? I'm ready. You ready? Okay. Come on, big money. You gotta think positive. Think about the zero. Think about the zero. Zero and one quarters. Ready? Let's turn them over. One half. Not good. Three quarters. Not good. Three quarters. That's a hand. Get rid of it. Whoa, you want to get rid of the whole hand? Whole yeah. You sure? It can't get worse. Get rid of it. Okay. All right. Your total is two and a half brains. Yeah. Get rid of it. Okay. We're going to get rid of your two and a half brains. We're going to put that aside. I'm going to give you one more hand. One, two, three, four. This hand stands. One half. Three quarters. One quarter. Not bad. One half. Ooh. You have eight minutes time, and you have to eat two whole brains. Bring in the brains, please. You'll each be dealt four cards. Each card will represent the amount of cow brains you have to eat. They're marked from zero to three quarters. You'll be given one opportunity to throw away as many cards as you want and get new ones. You have eight minutes time, and you have to eat two whole brains. Think you can do this? You're All tough. Right, we'll try it. I have uh, eaten a lot of disgusting stuff in my day. I have thrown up in my mouth and swallowed again. I'm praying for that same tolerance. Ready? Set, go. All right, bite. yummy. Yeah, <laughs> that first bite, it's just. Uh, uh, isn't this like a delicacy in some like Middle Eastern it's country? It's not here. It's a gag it's reflex. Just... I was gagging because of the consistency. It was hard to swallow. And so trying to force myself to swallow really quickly made it project back up my throat. That's a lot of food. Like, pay no attention to them. Pay no attention to them. You don't hear them. You're going to do this. No, no, Laura's in the finals. She's gonna do it. She's fine. Laura's tough. Smell is like just a That's the smell. It's just the more you put in your mouth, the worse it is. You guys are helping her. It's gonna make me. I swear it's gonna make me throw up. Yeah, hold on to that bucket. Keep that near by. Three minutes left, Laura. Come on. That's it. There you go, girl. Come on. Yeah, there you go. Come on. You're not going to back out of this. Come on, Laura. Three minutes left. You can do this, Laura. You get the hard, chunky parts, and it's hard to swallow. Mm -hmm. You don't want to come this far and not get through it. Come on. You got to pick up the pace, Laura. Come on. You can do this. You can totally do this. Just impossible to swallow. It's totally possible. She can totally do it. Stuff it in. Yeah. Come on, Laura. Don't give, no way you don't give up. Don't give up. You don't give up. You cannot. I want you to go crazy. Get this stuff down. Come on. Just can't swallow. 30 it. seconds. Come on, Laura. Stuff it. 30 seconds. Come on, Laura. It's possible. It's possible, Laura. That was all work. <laughs> Come on, Laura. Come on, you got 15 seconds. Do not quit. Do not quit. Do not quit. Come on, Laura. Come on, Laura. You can do it, Laura. Okay. Time. Come on. You got a little over a brain and a half, but it was not enough. I'm sorry, but we got to send you packing. Give me a big hug. <laughs> Take it easy. Bye, Laura. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye, Bye Laura. You think I you could have eaten what she had to eat? No way. So you were saying it really wasn't as disgusting. You were just trying to no. mess with her head. Oh, of course. Yeah. Of course, I wasn't going to say and tell him, oh, it's not bad. It tastes like tofu, actually. But your nerves are acting it's up so disgusting. much. It's still disgusting. Yeah, I wouldn't order it out, put it that way. But you thought you were going to be the only one. And you I did. Not. I got to say, I'm impressed. Do not yeah. underestimate Kristen. Yeah. She's a tough cookie. Be. I'm impressed. All right, well, congratulations to the both of you. And good luck to the both of you tomorrow. You're going to need it. And uh, let's get out of here and get you ready. Okay, thanks.
think people were definitely surprised and shocked that I made it this far, considering I'm, I'm like 100 pounds and five foot three. But now there's only two of us, and I beat out like two other guys. So at this point, I've come this far, it's like, yeah, I want to win. She looks a little nervous. You know, she's going for it, but it's been hard to really go head to head with the girls because, you know, I'm just used to being nice to girls all the time. And now I gotta go out and go as hard as I would against a six foot, 250 pound guy that's full athletic. What's up, kids? Hello. How are you? How you guys doing? Very All right. well. Feeling good? Yeah, feeling good. You ready to do this? Uh huh. This is it. This is the finals. All right. Today, one of you is gonna walk away with the cash. Ooh. Are you ready? Yeah. You survived the bull riding. Both of you did excellent on that. And Kristen, you took quite the tumble. Almost survived. Almost survived? You're <laughs> fine. How are you feeling? You banged up still? I'm a little banged up. A little yeah. sore? Yeah. You survived eating those brains. You can get through anything. Yeah, that's for sure. Anyway, today, here we are at the Queen Mary in Long Beach. And one of you is going to walk away with $50,000. All right? Here's your final stunt. You're going to be attached. This zip line is approximately 100 feet over the water. When you're released, you're going to be going at speeds up to 40 miles an hour. Your objective is to drop yourself into one of those five target zones. They number from one to five. The person who drops themselves into the highest number today is going to walk away with $50,000. We've already randomly selected who gets to go first, and Al, you are lucky number one. You ready to do this? Absolutely. All right, come with me. attached this zip line is approximately 100 feet over the water. When you're released, you're going to be going at speeds up to 40 miles an hour. Your objective is to drop yourself into one of those five target zones. You have a height fear? Uh, I don't think I do. Now well, we're going to we're find, find out very out shortly. Now. You can't count Kristen out because you counted her out in the brains. Right? Oh, I did. You're I don't count her out at all by any means. Are you going to win today? I plan to. Well, we're going to find out shortly. Let's leave out here. Good luck to you. Kristen, you come okay. with me. We're going to watch okay. from below. Come All on. Right. It looks pretty far. It's actually a pretty long way to hold on to. You got the good spot right here. You get to watch it all, and you get to learn from his little mistakes. Excited? No, I am. This is cool. What are you going to do with the money if you win? Um, I'm going to give some of it to Relief Fund. Yeah, and then, that's uh, cool. Take some friends on vacation. Yeah, take some friends on vacation? Where are you going to go? Somewhere warm. Now, remember, if you want to psychically aim him into a zero or right. perhaps a one, maybe you can get him to drop into that. Do you think you have an advantage? Going second? Yeah. Yeah? I mean, just because I, I can watch him. I'm going for the number five, which is right on the end. And if I let go too soon, I'm going to be in the zero. And if I let go too late, then I'm just going to be in number two. I just got to go for it all and just go for the five, because at that point, it puts too much pressure on her. Tight. See him? He's hanging on the railing. He's got his hands on the bar. I mean, I could play it safe and go for the middle targets and hope to land in a three or a two, but I'd rather take my chances and just go for the five. All right, watch this form and learn something. All right, Al, you ready? Go! Here it comes. Whoa! Tie it, bring it into a little oh, overtime. Know. Way to go, Al! You got a five! He hit a lot harder than I would think. Really? Well, you're going 40 miles an hour. He's just, it looks pretty cool. Hey, well, it feels like you're going slow when you're up there, but as soon as you hit the water, you realize? I'm not expecting that. Well, you timed it perfect. You let it go enough so that your momentum traveled you right Physics. in there. All right, Kristen, I'm going to send you off. I'm going to stay down here with okay. Al. Now, remember, right. if you do not drop into a five, then Al's going to win it. But if you do drop into a five, it'll bring us into a dramatic tiebreaker. Uh, okay. All right? All Ready right. to do this? I'm sorry. All right. Good luck to you. Thanks. The boat's going to take you. All right. So how do you think she's going to do? 
think she'll drop ball. I mean, I don't know. That five was just, I mean, I thought about it up there for a long time and planned it out. It wasn't just like a freak thing, good luck. Play. What did you plan? What was your strategy? Well, like, I knew when I was coming down that I would be, when I let go, I'd still be moving forward. So I knew I couldn't go right over the five. So I kind of, from up there, picked a point on the rocks of like what I thought was far enough to let go and just waited. How much distance did you give yourself, approximately? Probably about five feet, I'd say, before I let go and then just floated into it. I was afraid of just not hitting anything and letting go too soon. And did you try to aim with your feet? I think I did. I think I let go and just tried to go in feet first. But you hit that water hard. Really? I hit and my face just smacked head first. I'm like, that guy had the helmet on it. I want to hit the five, so I'm going to go, I guess, when it feels right and where I sort of saw him let go. She just might be playing me like a sucker right now and being like, oh, I'm so scared. But yet she's going to get up there and just like do a perfect backflip into the number five or something. Definitely the highest thing I've ever jumped off of. She backing out? Is that what she's doing? Crunch time. I, I just feel really confident she's not going to do it. But really? On the other hand, I feel what really guilty does. feeling really confident that she's not. I'm going to try to make the five and hit the target. And then we'll have to do this all over again. In your wildest dreams, you think it'd be you and her in the finals? Absolutely not. I thought it was going to be the guys. You see these big right. guys. I'm like, all right, this is my competition. If she hits five, it goes to the tiebreaker. Damn, that'll suck. All right, she's up on the rail. There she is. Anything less than five, she just handed you $50,000. Here she goes. She didn't let go yet. I'm so high up. I've just got to hold on. It's so tough to hold on. I hope that I don't drop way before and kill myself. She's already, I would have thought she dropped already. She can, like, really yep. surprise you. All right, Kristen, you got to hit five or nothing. Three, two, one, go. Sunday starting at 7 begins tomorrow only on Schiller. Scary good.